Please pause the video and attempt the question on your own before moving on. Now, since the question is asking for the maximum and minimum magnitudes of the magnetic force acting on an electron, we would want to consider the equation that we can use to calculate magnetic forces that exist on charged particles. And from this chapter, we know that the magnetic force obeys this equation here, in which Q is the charge, V is the velocity, B is the strength of the magnetic field, and then this theta is the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field vectors. Now, we know the charge because the particle is an electron and the charge of an electron is a known value. The magnetic field strength was also given to us as 1.7 Tesla. What is less obvious perhaps is both the angle and the velocity of the electron as it enters the magnetic field. So what we want to first do is actually find the velocity of the electron. And to do that we want to understand some energy changes that are occurring in this process. So here is one representation of the types of energy changes that are taking place. We can assume that the electron is being released from rest and therefore its initial kinetic energy will equal zero. However, it will have what is known as electrical potential energy. In an earlier chapter, we learned that electrical potential energy is equal to the product of the charge and the electric potential. Now, since the question states that the electron is accelerated through 2400 volts, what we've done is we've labeled a low potential point here as negative 2400 volts and a higher potential point as zero volts. Electrons will indeed move from lower electric potentials to higher electric potentials spontaneously. And as they do so, they lose their electrical potential energy, and that energy gets converted into kinetic energy. So, in short, the electrical potential energy that is initially present will be converted into kinetic energy, the energy of motion. So we're going to set those two energies equal to each other according to the conservation of energy. So here we have done so, and we want to solve this equation for the speed of the electron so we can move on to solving parts A and B. So to do that, we can begin by multiplying both sides of the equation by 2. So that way, on the right side, we can cancel out the 1 half. We can then divide by the mass on both sides of the equation. And then we can take the square root of both sides, and that way we can have just V on the right side. Now, as noted, the initial electric potential we can assume to be negative 2400 volts. The charge on an electron is a known value, right? It's negative 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. And the mass of an electron is also known to be 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. So we can plug in all three known values now. And when you process all that on your calculator, you should obtain a speed of roughly 2.90 times 10 to the positive 7 meters per second. So that's the speed that we need when we are going to calculate the magnetic fields in A and B. So let's do that next. So here's a picture for both part A and part B. In part A we want the maximum magnetic force. Well that turns out to exist whenever the angle between the velocity of the charged particle and the magnetic field, which we've shown in green here, is 90 degrees. Whereas the minimum force, the one for part B, exists when the angle between the velocity of the charged particle and the magnetic field is zero degrees. In fact, it's worth noting that the sine of zero degrees is equal to zero. So if we plugged in zero degrees in for the angle, this entire term is going to multiply out to just zero. So indeed the minimum force will simply be zero newtons, and that's the correct answer to part B. For part A, we're going to plug in 90 degrees because that will yield the maximum force. So here all of the known values are plugged in. We have the charge of the electron, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. The velocity that we calculated earlier is plugged in. The magnetic field strength in Tesla, which was given to us earlier in the question. And then the angle of 90 degrees, which again produces the maximum force. The sine of 90 is just 1, so you can actually eliminate that from the equation. And then you can pick up your calculator and process the following. And you should get approximately 7.9 times 10 to the minus 12 newtons as the maximum force. Remember that the minimum force was mentioned earlier as equaling zero newtons. So those are the two correct answers. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address listed on the screen.